We've just added a new social sharing element to Thrive Content Builder and in this video we'll take a closer look at it. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and if you're a theme user then you already know that a while ago we added a social sharing feature to our themes and instead of just adding some generic, you know, standard run off the mill kind of feature, we really put a lot of care and attention into making this the best performance optimized sharing element it can be. And now we have brought the same kind of attention to detail to a social sharing element for Thrive Content Builder, meaning you can now have social sharing buttons to insert anywhere inside your content or on your landing pages. When you open a page in the editor, you will see this new element in the sidebar called social share buttons. And there are two options. We'll start with the custom design one. And like any element, you can drag this onto the canvas and then click on it for further options. And there are many options. So we can change the alignment right here. And there are many different styles for these buttons. So first of all, what we're looking at right now is the icon plus text type. And you can also have icon only, all right? So that's a much more compact, just an icon to click on. And you can have a counter, so a version that shows the share count, in this case, zero shares on this test page. But here you it would show you how many shares from each network you've collected on this page. So these are three different types that we have for each button style. And then we also have five different styles. So these are just different visual styles that depending on your page, depending on your overall design, you can choose whatever matches that best. And for each of these styles, we have these three possible combinations, right? These three types of buttons to display. Plus they're totally scalable. So if you change the font size, you can make that very small. You can make the buttons very small. You can make them really large and they scale perfectly and they look good at any size. And you can even set a custom font. So if you've set up custom fonts in the font manager, that is also an option. So right here, we can make that look really funky. So as you can see, there is a lot of customizability going on here. Now to set up the buttons, you click on social options and here's where you determine which buttons are shown and what happens for each one of them. So let's just quickly activate all of them and for each one you'll have a tab here with settings now for the facebook share you will have to set up a facebook app which you may have already done because a lot of facebook related stuff requires an app id and so you can just use the same one if you say use facebook comments on your website that'll be the same app id and if you haven't set it up we've put together a tutorial for you to show you how to set an app id up now for each of the networks, you will find a URL and sometimes that's the only setting, but you will find a field for URL to share. By default, it will simply share the page which the buttons are placed on, but you can also set this to share a different page. This is a really cool feature and here's an example of how you can use this to your advantage. So this would be a, a download page or a thank you page, right? Someone has become a lead, they've signed up, and here's where they download their ebook or whatever it is that they signed up for. And so what I could do is maybe I could get rid of this right here and put some social share buttons in here instead. Now I'd go into the social options here because maybe I want to encourage people, you know, basically say, hey, if you like the free report or if you like this bonus video, share. But I don't want them to share the actual download page. Instead, instead I would want them to share the opt-in page. So I put in the URL here of my opt-in page, which means that, and I can click this, use this URL for all the networks and it will auto fill in the other fields here, which means that if someone comes to this download page, then, and they like the thing, and then they click on the share button. And instead of spreading the link for directly downloading my free thing around the internet, they will be sharing the opt-in page and sending new potential leads to my opt-in page. So that's the reason why we have a separate field where you can define exactly which URL you want to be shared. You can also choose the text that is displayed for each button. And we have defaults that make sense, but if you want to translate them, you can do that here. Now for Facebook, you also have advanced options. You can choose between two different types of sharing. This is basically the older form of sharing something on Facebook. This is the newer one. If you use the newer one, you can also change 
the names, uh, you can change the caption, you can change the description, and you can choose a custom image that will be shown with your shared post. We also have some extra options for Twitter. So again, you can define the URL you want to tweet. You can define the pre-filled text. So I'm going to give you an example here and just do example text. And we'll keep track of the character count. So the remaining characters you have for your tweet right here. I'll also put here an example URL, example.com. You can have a via at username. So in this case, be at Thrive Themes that will be added to the end. And you can also define a counter URL and of course the button text. So if we save that, this is what we get. Let me just save this and then preview it. So if I click on the tweet button, this dialog shows up and here you can see it's pre-filled with the text I added. It's sharing the URL I defined and it is via at Thrive Themes at the end. So you have a lot of control over exactly what will show up in this tweet dialog. But that is still not all. So let's quickly go back to the editor. There are two more things I wanna show you. So first, you can add a total share count here. So that will just show to the left of the buttons. And you can also add a minimum number of shares you want to reach before this is displayed. So maybe you wanna have at least 10 shares. And so as long as it's under 10 shares, nothing will show. And as soon as you have more than 10 shares, the total share count will show to the left. And it's just a nice way to add some social proof, right? And also it boosts shares. So if people see that many people have been sharing this, then uh, they will be more inclined to share. And this is a way you can really use that to your advantage because if people see a low share number, they might be discouraged from sharing. So you just hide that until you reach 10 or 20 or whatever it is that you want the threshold to be. And then once you have enough shares for it to provide social proof and sharing momentum, it will automatically show up. And finally, you can modify the order of buttons by surprise clicking on the modify order of buttons button. And it will open up this little dialogue where you can just drag and drop the buttons around as you wish, right? So you can change the order any way you want, save that, and there you go. Now, on top of that, we also have the default designed buttons. So the reason we have this, and as you'll see, this is what they look like, right? These are the official sharing buttons. And the reason we have these is because there are some things you can only do with the official buttons, and that is Twitter follow, Google plus one rather than Google share, and Facebook like rather than Facebook share. These are buttons you can only have using the official buttons. But also keep in mind that the value of the actual share buttons is far greater than the value of uh, likes and plus one. So especially, you know, a like, a Facebook like is practically worthless. A Facebook share is what you really want. Same for a Google plus one, you know, is someone giving you a plus one doesn't really do much for you. What you really want is people to share stuff on their walls or in their timelines or whatever it's called on Google+. And the Twitter follow, that's really the only thing where you maybe just want to add a follow button and that makes sense, but you might just add that on its own. So that's the distinction between the default buttons and the custom designed buttons. An important note about the default buttons. So they're there for you to use if you need them. But in general, my recommendation is to use the custom design buttons because the main thing here is that the default buttons are a real drag on your page load times. Now, we've built them in a way that they load asynchronously so that you know, they're less of a drag on your page, but still, especially if you add all of them, if you add all of the available buttons, that will easily add several seconds of loading time for a page to load with these buttons on them. Whereas if you add the custom design buttons, the speed impact is basically non-existent. So just keep that in mind. As I've said many, many times before, speed is an incredibly important conversion factor. And here, you know, just keep that in mind. If you absolutely need to use the default buttons for some reason, keep the number as low as possible and just keep this speed impact in mind. So the real performance and conversion optimized version are the custom design buttons. This new social sharing element is available immediately in the latest version of Thrive Content Builder, so you can download that and get to using them right away. I hope you enjoy this new feature and let us know what you think about it by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.